Carly, Molly's your cousin. Not to mention your best friend. She and Mike were JJ's godparents. I wanted to share our happiness with them, and you acted like I was i was sharing government secrets. I just don't feel comfortable talking about it. Aren't I entitled to that feeling? Yes, of course, of course. Anything you have, any feeling you have right now, that's fine with me, but... Is it just Mike and Molly, or do we have to keep the secret from everyone? Everyone? Come on, Carly. I'm about to burst what? here. So am I. But you, you, you know what they say about, about the first trimester, Jack. I... Not every pregnancy is successful. So you're worried about jinxing the baby? It's just, it's early. You never know what's going to happen. I understand. I do. Well, did the doctor give you any kind of clue? Like you were at risk or no, something? No, like... no, nothing like that. It's just if you tell everybody and then it just makes it harder. Okay. I understand. So. What, you want to wait six weeks, six months? All yeah, I know time. is that I want to spend this time with you and nobody else. And when it's time to tell the rest of the world, we'll know. All right. Okay. We'll play it the way you want to play it. Boy, am I glad we got past that. Is this how you were with Parker? What do you mean? You know, kind of... scared and confused. Well, no. I, I don't consider myself confused uh, now, either. Carly, I, I was watching you ever since you told me. And yes, of course, you were happy, but there... there was something else, too. This is a really big moment for us, Jack. Maybe I'm a little nervous. I know you, Carla. It's more. You're right. You're right, Jack. There is something else that's bothering me. Tell me, Carly. I, I, I really wanted for us to spend some time alone together. Just Mr. and Mrs. Snyder. And Hal was always happy to take Parker, so I thought that that would happen. And then J.J. came along. And now J.J.'s gone, but I'm pregnant. So you see, it's, it's frustrating well, I understand. Me. I understand that. But as much as we've lost by not having that time alone together, look, we've gained so much more. Yeah. You're right. There is a way we can fake it. How? won't tell anybody that we're having a baby until the last possible moment. Did you, I, I don't know if I can do that. It'll be fine, Jack. I don't know the secret. Okay, I guess so. The woman carrying the baby gets to make those kind of decisions. Mm. I, I know you want to celebrate, Jack. I know you want to tell everybody at the station and, and your family. But just because we don't tell those people doesn't mean we can't celebrate. Just the two of us. Well, I tell you what's going to happen. I am going to take you out somewhere special. All dressed up. Just the two of us. And if anybody asks me what we're celebrating, I am going to tell them it's how much I love you. I love you too. But there is something else you should know. What's the deal, Carly? What else have you got to tell me? Well, I I've been doing some thinking since I found out about this pregnancy, and I, I think I ought to make some changes. Especially work-wise. That, no, of course, of course, you know. I tell you what, we'll, we'll set you up a temporary studio. That, that way you can work from home once uh, you get farther along. 
You're always thinking, aren't you, G-Man? Uh, of course, the only downside would be the inevitability of Craig dropping by whenever he likes. That's not gonna happen. Oh, have I heard that before? Yeah. It's not like he needs any kind of excuse, Curly. Not if he's not working with me anymore. And he's not. I, I left the company. You... You walked away from Monte Carlo? A pregnant lady doesn't need the aggravation, right? And I know you hate all the drama that Craig carries around with him wherever he goes, so I... It was simple, really. I quit. Well, here's a suggestion that's guaranteed to make the pregnant lady blush. Unquit. What? Carly, you heard me. Go back to work. You are Jack Snyder, aren't you? The dude I, I saw recently dressed up in his dress blues waiting for me to come down the aisle. I can't believe that I am about to say this, but I insist you let me quit. No, honey, that's not necessary. Take a leave of absence, anything, but flat out give up the one thing you wanted most. No way. I am getting what I wanted most, Jack. To be your wife. <sighs> no. No, let that ring. If it's Craig, I need to make him understand that I am serious no, about this. No, Carly. I don't understand cutting back. I need to cut him off completely. Don't we both know do that. You reached Snyder's. Leave a message. If you're lucky, we'll get back to you. Carly, if you're there, please pick up. It's important to No, I, well, I know it's usually important, but this time it's really important. I am not going to discuss this. I've already told Jack that I'm quitting, and I am not going to change my mind. Quitting? No, 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 no. I told you not to give up on Monte Carlo. Forget it. Our partnership is over. And as I always say, have a nice life. That's what I intend to do. Now lose the number. Carly? Not today, Carly. Not today. Honey, I, I, I know that you have heard me blow Craig off before, but I really mean it this time. It's not necessary. You don't have to give up one of your lifelong dreams. I'm really... Jack, we make dreams and we remake dreams. It's okay if they change. How many times do I have to tell you that what I want is right here? If, if that's what you want. I gotta get to the station. First, I gotta stop by Lily and Holden's. Give that little Natalie a kiss for me. Oh, and honey... You know how you said that my being pregnant is the, is the best secret ever? Let's keep it that way for now, okay? And call me superstitious. I just, I, I, I don't want to tell anybody yet. Okay? Okay.